All right, Cheryl. Now we learn the draw stroke. Now why do we want to learn the draw stroke? So we can control our spin momentum, so we can carve turns instead of sliding and losing our speed. So we can have more control, um, be way better getting in and out of eddies, uh, get where we want to go faster with less strokes, easier. Uh, anyway, there's a million reasons we want to learn the draw stroke. So let's practice, um, let's practice some lingo. Take your paddle, put it right next to your butt. There you go, nice and vertical, right next to your butt. That's a normal position, I call that a normal draw. Now take the leading edge, the front of your paddle, turn it towards your boat just slightly, like 20 degrees. This is called a closed face normal draw. Now 20 degrees away from the boat, that's 45 degrees, there you go. That's an open face normal draw. Now put it up by your knees in parallel to the boat, that's a normal draw, normal bow draw. Open face bow draw, people call that a dufex stroke a lot. Close face bow draw, good. Open face bow draw, generally bad. Close face bow draw, generally good. Even though people learn it the other way. All right, now put it behind your butt. Close face stern draw, open face stern draw, normal stern draw. All right, so that is, um, that's your lingo. So right now give me a close face stern draw. Yeah, there you go. All right, so now we've got the one-handed thing down good. So now face it with your body. Now reach back and grab it with your top hand. Beautiful. Perfect position for a closed face stern draw. That's nice. Very good. Okay. So just uh, a really quick thing. Um, I've got an old joke. It's probably, I'm not even going to tell it because the guy actually did die. But um, uh, <clears throat> This is what most people do is a draw stroke. Now notice my stern slides out and my boat stops. It's also known as a dufex stroke. If I turn dufex stroke, my stern slides out. I do not carve a turn and I'm actually going the same direction I was. I'm just going backwards now. If you put a draw stroke in the right spot, get the boat turning. I'm closed faced and at the stern. Now look, my boat is carving. I'm going around the turn. I'm carrying my speed around the turn and back the other way. The reason for that, think of it as a keel on a sailboat. So what would you say about a sailboat that had a keel that looked like that? Say it's broken. broken yeah. You're not going sailing today. That's what you'd say. Well, a, a dufex stroke is the same thing. What the kayak needs, because this kayak and every whitewater kayak, um, they are designed to turn and they slide. They do not carve turns. But the kayaks just turn and slide. Now you're saying, oh, but he's not putting it on edge. Well, you can put it on edge. Put it on edge and guess what? It still turns and slides and stops. The only way to carry your speed around a turn is with a draw stroke. Now it does not slide. I'm carrying my speed around the turn. All right, um, we're going to do a little before and after test. Um, and I should have done this before. We showed her the draw stroke, but that's okay. Um, the international average for how many strokes it takes a paddler to paddle around my stern or anybody's stern and back if you start counting when their body passes the paddle and then stop it when it passes the other basically a 180 around the boat is five strokes that's the international average um, we are going to have Cheryl try one you know draw stroke two if my paddle a cat. You, you have to go somewhere at some point She's just, you can, two, three, all right, slight pause in the middle. <laughs> um, if we'd done this test prior to showing her the draw stroke, it would have been five and she wouldn't have done the draw stroke and waited. So Cheryl, get there for me and then point towards me. The, um, that's okay, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl's learning quick. So point towards me, cool, and I'll stay still. Cool. So I'm going to come in to Cheryl. Coming in. Almost there. So I'm almost there. I'm there. 
can come around the turn feather forward and I'm off and I'm around the corner with one stroke glide on the draw pole with one stroke and I'm coming around with a lot of speed a lot of control and only one stroke one stroke versus five strokes and this five stroke thing's not a joke if you get all of your friends to do the test, it's gonna, average is going to be five. The only ones that are going to do lesser fives are people that are really trying to use a draw stroke in a way that they usually don't use on the river because they don't actually know how to do it very well. Um, or they've actually learned how to use a draw stroke, but uh, most of your friends haven't, so they're going to take five strokes. So what does that mean? It means five strokes or one stroke? five strokes and not only five strokes but five strokes and it takes longer to go around the boat than the one stroke and five strokes where you have less control around the boat than the one stroke the difference in paddling styles using this draw stroke skill and controlling your spin momentum and not is that night and day it's five to one ratio and you have more control and you have more speed so learning that is just set your boating free in so many different ways. So it's a very, very fun thing to learn and is very efficient. Um, it makes all the moves you do on a river like just become way more fun and way easier. And you'll be impressing your friends. So we, I know that's the most important thing. <laughs> Cheryl, okay, cool. I like your dip. All right, cool. So remember that the keys of this show and then we're going to practice the key number one draw stroke if it's anywhere in front of your butt your stern will slide out now if you've learned a dufec or draw stroke and you're doing it up here which that's where most people get taught um, whether you did or not I don't know depends if you took classes but most people learn this then you will slide and, and stop so behind your butt and close face now real quick I have to do one more instructional piece why close face this is normal face so why close face close face is a sail so imagine the wind is coming from here the wind would hit my paddle blade and propel me forward sorry this way the wind would hit, hit me and propel me forward like this the wind is going to hit me and propel me backwards close faced assures that the, the blade pressure that you have from because your boat's trying to slide to the side and you're holding it so you've got blade pressure towards the boat by having it closed face it's actually scooching you forward it's actually providing a, a gas pedal in the form of a sail that's in the water open face does the opposite you might as well throw an anchor out the back it's your brakes closed face good open face brakes so let's try this here you're going to get some speed watch how I do it first then you try it A close face stern drawn there and don't move. Just hold it still and watch what happens. Alright, let's try it. Just got some speed, a little more speed. There you go. And drop it in. Hold it behind your butt, behind your butt. There it is. Don't move. Up. Oh. Ah, that's open face. Close. You're doing it good for a second, then you opened it up and hit the brakes. Try let's try it again. So remember, close face forward, close face speed, open face brakes. Paddle forward, notice you get a little bit of turn, boom. Close face and you carve. Let's try it. Close face behind your butt. Right, right there. Beautiful. That's pretty sweet, that one right there. Did you see that? Nice. Good job. Yeah, that's really cool. All right. Now. A draw stroke doesn't have to just be a static stroke. A draw stroke can be a dynamic stroke, meaning you can actually um, pull towards your boat with a draw stroke. And one of the most common times we do that is in a, a, a compound stroke. It's our first compound stroke. A compound stroke is a combination of two things into one, right? It's a combination of a closed face bow draw and then a forward stroke. But this is a dynamic one. Instead of just gliding on it, we're going to reach out away from the boat pull towards the knee and then forward towards the knee with a closed face bow draw forward now watch what happens when I watch my paddle my paddle does not pull back I pull straight to the boat and yet I go forward ready straight 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 now what is that active closed face bow draw pull. so I'm 
Sculling the boat forward while I'm turning it. Sculling it forward while I'm turning it. Sculling it forward while I'm turning it. Get some speed, get it turning, and then do it. Okay, stop for a second. So this is, the C stroke is a turning stroke. It's, um, it's what I was demonstrating in the beginning. You paddle forward, you start the boat turning with a sweep. C stroke, into the boat, pull forward, into the boat, pull forward. Notice I'm on the side. Look, just, just watch what I'm doing real quick and then you can ask. Into the boat, forward, into the boat, forward. The purpose of the end of the boat part is it tightens the turn up tighter, but it also propels you forward in the process. If you do it with open face, you stop the boat. All right, so now let's practice. So get the top hand over the bottom, vertical. Top hand over, over, vertical paddle. There you go, now closed faced. You're gonna reach out, you're gonna pull straight to your knee and then pull back. Do it again. Straight to the knee, up, close, and pull back. Close faced. So, there it is. All right. So you can tell, it could take a second to learn this. So, uh, this segment, hey, not bad, there you go, that was a good one. But, uh, you're down here, you're down here, top hand over the bottom hand, it's a lot easier, there you go. Into the knee, forward, that's your toes, just straight, okay. She's on both sides of the boat, we'll take a break on that. Um, um, remember, you're only paddling on the inside of the turn. Into the knee, forward, into the knee, forward, into the knee, forward, forward. You want to tighten the turn more into the knee and less forward, more into the knee, less forward. You want to do a bigger turn, you do more forward strokes, less draw. When do you use a C-stroke? Use a C-stroke shell anytime you're paddling forward and turning. Um, and you want to keep propelling yourself forward. If you do not use it closed face and you do the draw, then you're not accelerating the boat. The only way to do a draw stroke from out here to in here that make, moves the boat forward is to close the face and it sculls you forward. Does that make sense? So I need it more. So your challenges are one, you're still way down here. That's you were like the Hulk, you could pull it off, but. So top hand over the bottom hand. More vert, there you go. Reach out straight to the knee and then pull forward. Straight, close face more. You're not even close to close face more. More? That's close, okay. Take a break. So what Cheryl's doing is she's just pulling down here, pulling straight to the boat. It's closed faced so that it sculls you forward. In round two, uh, Cheryl will be able to demonstrate that really well. So that's the C stroke. That's your first. Take a break. The um, Don't have time to teach her the C stroke right now. We're going to keep going. All right, let's take a break. Next thing we're going to do is the S turn stroke.